<sighs> Hello and welcome to a new Pizza de Ray tutorial. Today we are going to the beach and we will create something like this. Here we are in a fresh blender scene. Let's delete our cube and add a plane. And now we can add a motion ocean modifier. Let's rename this to ocean. Yeah, let's animate our ocean. Set a keyframe. I want to start by zero, so let's type in a zero and we will go for 300 frames and yeah, time five and a keyframe, set a keyframe and now you can see our ocean plane is animating so but really slow at the beginning and to the end it slows down as well so let's change this by yeah by selecting both keyframes and interpolation mode to linear so we have no smooth start Let's change uh, the size to 0.29 and you can see that our waves are a little bit more, yeah, more visible for this one. Yeah, okay. And now is the big question, how can we make a loop of this? Because you can see that frame 300 and frame 1 and because we are starting by frame 1 uh, it's not exactly the same so we don't have a perfect loop right now so let's uh, change this and now it's getting a little bit interesting <laughs> Um, first of all, I like uh, to change the resolution to 10, so we have a little bit more of uh, detail. And now we have to <coughs> extend our animation from 300 to 600. So we have um, the, 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 the double time uh, of our animation yeah let's put it on six frame 600 ah. um, we have to change the scale so let's uh, keyframe this a little quick let's go to frame 150 and keyframe this one um, and let's go to the first frame and keyframe it by zero. So our yeah, ocean will start at zero and the scale will increase. And let's put this to, uh, let's change this to interpolation mode linear. Okay, let's duplicate our modifier and disable this one. Now we have to keyframe this again and change something after that. So let's um, yeah, keyframe this a little quick um, by uh, time one and here at five. Exactly the same like like um, the other one before. And now we have to yeah, keyframe the scale as well. So let's put this over to 
Blah. Okay, give interpolate, blah 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 blah. So and now um, the keyframes from the second ocean modifier are the same as the frames are from the first ocean modifier. So now we have to offset um, the time keyframes to minus 300. The first keyframe is at minus 300. Now and now and we have to change the scale as well. And there's an easy one. Let's change the first keyframe from 0 to 300. Okay. And now we can um, activate our first ocean modifier. And now we have to change the geometry from generate to displace. So that's how you can loop the ocean modifier. Let's create the texture for our chrome ocean. Let's start with an HDRI. And let's change this one to render and delete our, our light. And let's add an HDRI. I'm using the Easy HDRI plugin. You can find it in the preferences by searching for Easy HDRI, I think. Or maybe you have to download it. I don't know, but you will find it easy. Um, yeah, Easy HDRI. If you like this tool, so I um, um, choose a favorite folder for this, and I choose our my favorite XRR and create word notes. And now, boom, you have um, yeah an HDRI set up in your world. Um, yeah, in your world. Uh, word node setup. So, okay, let's uh, create an um, ocean texture material. Sorry, ocean material for our plane now. Okay, uh, let's increase our metallic. Um, yeah, <laughs> roughness to zero, and now you can see you have some cool chromatic. Uh, chromatic look. Um, and here you can see that our ocean does not look really smooth. So uh, let's change this by adding a subdivision surface and increase this one to two. So now you can see that you have much smoother reflections <coughs> in our mo uh, in our ocean. Maybe for um, preview you can turn it uh, to one. And if you can't wait to render something, let's uh, do a little test. Okay, let's go on by adding um, the plant or the palm plant or yeah, and I will put the link to this one into the description. I think it's from Turbo Squid, but it was free. Okay, let's scale this thing down for so maybe something like this. And yeah, for our final scene, let's animate our palm. What is it? it it's it's a palm. I uh, I always say it's it's a, it's a palm tree, but it isn't. I think um, 
Okay, let's say it, it's our plant. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, it's a plant now. So let's animate our plant. Um, and that's an easy one by adding by adding and uh, what we want to use is a simple deform the bend deformer and let's go for the y-axis and play a little bit with uh, the angle okay I think something like this is a cool smooth animation so let's keyframe it by frame zero and go to the half of the animation and yeah let's increase the angle a little bit and yeah copy and paste the first keyframe so we have um, a smooth move looping animation for this one and yeah we can <clears throat> go a little bit further and duplicate our, um, our simple deform and use the z-axis or the x-axis I think we will go with the z-axis and yeah change change the angle as well by yeah keyframe this one go to the 150 frame and change the angle to something like this and copy the first key as well i don't like it to have all the keyframes at the same place so then you can see that's that's a 10 second loop and um what i like to do is to offset the keyframe by yeah shifting this one to yeah to the back and what you have to keep what you have to keep in mind is that after that the key will don't yeah loop anymore um, but here's a little trick um, for the keyframe you want to loop or the keyframes you want to loop um, press shift E and click next cyclic um, the keyframe will now will now no I'm lying <laughs> and now you have to select the keyframes I think and press shift e and make cyclic yeah and <clears throat> now the keyframes will loop to the infinity and beyond <laughs> um, so yeah now we have our ocean and we have our plant let's add a camera for now yeah press zero on the numpad so we are watching through our camera now i like to use the walk navigation and you can adjust your camera um, with the w asd buttons and the q and e buttons and so it's really easy to adjust your camera and we will go for now for something like this mm, yeah I think that's that's a good shot for now mm, yeah let's let let's 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 add our light let's go back to render mode and we have to activate our ambient inclusion bloom and screen space reflection and yeah uh, if you enable it the, this the first time you have to yeah uncheck the refraction and you can increase the trace precision mm, and now let's add our sunlight um, 
Let's go with the area light and put this one behind our plant now. Let's uh, spin this over and point it to our plant now. Yeah, for something like this. I think that's, that's a good angle. Put this a little bit higher and increase the power. Let's enable the contact shadows. Let's change the color for to uh, sunny, sunny orange. And maybe we can increase this one. Yeah. Okay. So now we are getting uh, some cool chromatic reflections like this. I think we have to put our light a little bit. Oh, it's too high, I think. Do something like this. And maybe... Yeah. Let's... Increase, no. Let's increase a little bit the power. Okay. Yeah. We have this cool reflection in our water now. And I think this water is a little bit too bright. Let's go with something like this, or maybe 500. Yeah. 50. Yeah, okay, I think this is... Now we are getting somewhere. Yeah. Maybe we have to put this a little bit higher again. But this is your your decision how you want to, to make this. Okay, for the last one, um, yeah, let's add some depth of field. But... Well prepared, <laughs> well prepared as always. Um, yeah, uh, I used for this depth of field stuff um, the 2.93 uh, alpha. If you want to have really cool um, depth of field effects, um, you have to use this alpha version um, because the 2.93 two version uh, has the old EV um, depth of field effect so um, yeah keep this in mind um, and yeah try it by yourself but I think um, it's really really cool so okay um, but before we will activate the depth of field let's uh, yeah increase the pass per two and now let's activate our depth of field and let's go really down with the f stop and change change the focus distance and now you see we have a really really cool depth of field effect and now when the water is animating it's it's so cool and yeah <laughs> It's it's really amazing what you can do with a really cool depth of field effect and yeah that's uh, our tutorial for now. Now I will show you what we have created today.
I had a wonderful day at the beach and I hope you too. As always, um, subscribe to my channel, like my video and write a comment if you want. See you next time and bye bye.